Welcome to the CA Unified Infrastructure Management Introduction to CABI for UIM video. In this video, I will show you how to install and access the predefined CABI for UIM dashboards and the CABI server application. You might be wondering, what is CABI for UIM? CABI for UIM is an integration of CA Unified Infrastructure Management and CA Business Intelligence. It combines the reporting capabilities of CABI, which is built on top of Jasper Report Server, and the monitoring capabilities of CAUIM. CABI for UIM automatically synchronizes CAUIM users and accounts with CABI users and organizations. You can access the CABI server application directly from a portlet in UMP. CAUIM account contact users only need one user account to access either CABI or CAUIM. CABI for UIM provides both predefined dashboards and the ability to create custom dashboards. I will now show you an example of a CABI for UAM dashboard. This particular dashboard is a predefined dashboard. It shows an overview of the usage, health, and performance of an Amazon Web Services environment. Whether you choose to use the predefined dashboards in CAUAM or create your own custom dashboards, you'll be able to view your data in a visually appealing and meaningful format. I'm going to show you the recommended deployment configuration for the CABI for UIM dashboards. This diagram represents a very simple deployment of CA UIM. I have a primary hub with a robot running WASP and UMP and the CA UIM database. The minimum CA UIM version required for the CABI for UIM dashboards is version 8.47. You must install or upgrade to this version if you want to use these dashboards. This version of CA UIM installs the UMP CABI package. This package updates the Unified Dashboards portlet with the CABI for UAM dashboards and is installed automatically with CAUAM. CAUAM also adds the CABI probe to the archive. This probe installs the CABI server software, which is required for you to see data in the CABI for UAM dashboards. I will eventually deploy this probe, but there are a few steps you should complete first. You want to add another robot that is connected directly to the primary hub. You will use this robot to run CABI server. To avoid scale and performance issues, this robot should not be running UMP. The robot running CABI server must also have 10 gigabytes of free disk space, 8 gigabytes of memory, and 4 2 gigahertz CPUs. Deploy the CABI probe on this robot. After you deploy the CABI probe, CABI server is installed along with a separate instance of WASP. And the CAUAM database is automatically updated with CABI specific tables. I will now show you where to find the CABI for UAM dashboards in UMP. Go to the Unified Dashboards menu. This menu contains the options for the CABI for UAM dashboards. If I hover over each menu item, you can see what dashboards are available. You can access CABI server directly from UMP. Go to Unified Dashboards and then click the CABI for UAM Dashboards option. This displays a page with a link to the CABI server homepage. You usually go to the CABI server homepage if you need to create a custom dashboard. CABI server has an extensive library of charts that you can use to create your own custom ad hoc reports and dashboards. I am not going to go into any more detail about this subject because I will be covering this topic in another video on creating CABI for UIM dashboards. I am going to show you some common error messages you might see when you first view your CABI for UIM dashboards. Now I mentioned earlier in the recommended deployment configuration section of this video that you must install the CABI probe on a robot connected to the primary hub to see data in these dashboards. I will show you what you will see if you do not complete this step. If I select the AWS Summary Dashboard, a CABI is temporarily unavailable message appears. This message indicates that either the CABI probe is not installed or that the CABI probe is not running. Another type of message you might see is generated when either the monitoring probe required by the dashboard is not installed or one or more required metrics are not activated in the probe configuration. The appropriate probes must be installed and configured to collect data. Here I will show you what the AWS RDS dashboard looks like. 
without the RDS CPU utilization metric configured in the AWS probe. As you can see, there is no data for CPU utilization. And you see a not defined message for a quality of service metric. You might see one or more instances of this type of message in a dashboard. To resolve this issue, activate the required metrics in the probe configuration. Now you can see what this dashboard looks like with all the required metrics enabled. For more detailed information about the CABI for UAM dashboards, refer to the documentation on the CA DocOps platform. Or visit the CA UAM community to join in the discussion. The links can be found in the YouTube description located below this video.